Ah. I hate it when that happens. You can only move up, or, uh, edit up to six blocks away. So if it's further than that, you have to do stuff in order to get elsewhere. As a matter of fact, there. There we go. I thought I already destroyed this tree. Oh, it must have been a tree next to it. There we go. Yeah, that was the cave I, I thought would be a good starting place. Let's go get the trees over by the spawn real quick. And then we'll be fine. We should be fine. I'm grabbing a lot of wood for several reasons. First, so I can build with it. Second, so I can make a door. And third, to make ladders. So that we can actually start our mine shaft properly. Oh, I hate that. There we go. There's the axe. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's dirt. Now that's a nice, odd little cave. Let's get that tree. That's the, that'll be the last tree we grab. Ah, oh, again, I hate that. Okay, I hate the fact that pine trees get to be so tall so quickly. Regular trees are much shorter usually. Now, before I forget, let's go ahead and start replanting all these saplings. That way we don't run out of trees nearby. Those are already trees I've replanted, I think. For the most part, at least. Oh, piece of wood I missed. Go up the hill. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and... Ooh, we've got, we've got almost a full stack of wood. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and turn some of that into wooden planks. See, it's a jack-o'-lantern. Let's go ahead and do that, that, and that. There we go. We got our little entranceway. Let's go over here and make a door. Now, a door is real simple. It's six. You fill up the first two columns or second two columns, whichever, as long as it's two columns side by side. If you do that, it's not going to work. However, if you do that, it will. So you get a door. Always make sure you place the door from the outside. If you don't, you get this. What happens is, you see this little area here? Uh, skeletons can stand here and shoot through the door through the uh ah they can shoot through the windows so you want to make sure you place the doors from the outside so you get that now let's place you know what let's get my well that's a pumpkin is that the one the jack-o-lantern that's a pumpkin let's see if we can make jack-o-lanterns I think I know how. Never sure. I've never really had pumpkins to play with. With a torch underneath? Yeah, there we go. Jack-o'-lantern. So let's place one there, one there. That's uh, some lighting for us. Now we got jack-o'-lanterns to light our entrance. 
There we go. So now we've got we've got our mine area. We've got basic working area. Let's go ahead and make some more chests. And let's go ahead and convert some more of these. You know what, let's go ahead and convert them all. If I need more wood, I can go get more wood. There we go. Let's make one more chest. That way we can do that. And that. And that. There and there. And then let's go ahead and place block, block. There you go. May seem a little cramped, but it'll get by. It'll do for us. Mm. And let's not forget. Let's put there. There we go. Let's go ahead and unload some of the stuff that, well, actually, first, let's make some uh, ladders. Need more sticks for that. Now, to make sticks, sorry, to make ladders, it's fairly simple. You just need a simple H formation with your sticks. There you go, that's a ladder. Let's go ahead and make all these, as many as I can. And then just make some more sticks so that we don't run out. Okay, now let's unload some of the things we don't need. And we don't need the cobblestone. We don't need the bone. We don't need feathers. We don't need most of these sticks. As a matter of fact, I'll just get rid of them all. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that. Keep the dirt. The dirt's always useful. So let's go ahead and start mining out our mine. <coughs> so we've got 17 ladders. We can actually go fairly far before having to come back up. Especially with a healthy dose of picks. Finally ran out of that wood shovel. There we go. Now, some basic rules for digging. Never, ever, ever dig straight up or straight down. If you dig straight down, you might accidentally fall into a huge chasm or a monster infested cavern or drop yourself into a pool of lava. So definitely don't dig straight down. Don't dig straight up because you might drop gravel or sand on you and suffocate. You might drop water on you and drown. You might drop lava on you and, and burn. So never dig straight up or straight down. Now before I go too much further, let's go ahead and lay out some of these ladders. Now, you do not need to do them every single one. Every other one is fine and it works perfectly. See? Every other one is fine. Now, the reason why I'm digging out this little channel for my ladders is because it can sometimes be easy to fall off from side to side. I'll just put something there to keep me from going over. So there we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my first torches here, there, and there. And then I'll do it every four. So let's go ahead and keep digging. I can hear a monster somewhere nearby. Uh, 
I don't know. Let's hope we hit a cave or something soon. First cave I hit will be at my first floor level. Let's go ahead and dig that out. I'm hearing a lot of zombies. Let's see, so I don't forget. One, two, three. Yeah, four. Let's go ahead and put in another ladder. I mean, if you could do that, I th yeah, I think that works, but... And that is bad. I shouldn't have done that. Especially after just admo admonishing you guys about digging straight down. But hey, it was one block and I had the ladder to catch myself. Granted, you shouldn't do that ever, but hey. Now, generally, there's two types of mine shafts. You have the vertical shaft and the stair shaft. This is obviously the vertical shaft. We're digging straight down. The stair shaft is a little bit different. You, you dig down at an angle, creating essentially stairs. Since we don't know what's down here, I figured, eh, vertical's fine. Yes, I know I'm not talking right now. I probably should be, but hey, I just don't have much to talk about right now. I mean, nothing's really happening. I'm just digging. Like I said, in future sets, you won't even see this part. If there's nothing interesting happening or I'm not building, I just won't show it. One, two, three. There we go. Yes, I know I said it's every four, but kind of is. Oh, well. Three's fine. Every three's fine. Okay, those zombies are really annoying me right now. Okay, which wall are they on? Ooh, I've hit some gravel. Because I swear, if there is a dungeon back there and I'm just ignoring it, I don't know. Dungeons are awesome, but they're also hell. What a dungeon is, is that is a, uh, it's a small room with cobblestone walls, mossy cobblestone floors, and it's got chests in it filled with good loot. The problem is, it's guarded by a monster spawner in the center. Now, generally monsters will spawn on their own, but monster spawners spawn monsters at regular intervals. So it, it's especially not fun if you have a really full room that you're trying to deal with. Actually, I don't know why I chose 5x5. Five five. Oh, yep, see, we've got a dungeon. I don't know why I chose 5x5 five five because a 4x4 uh, four four would work better. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just keep digging down until we've either gone under the dungeon or we've dug a hole into it or something. Mmm. -hmm. 